What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are back at the Coliseum area showcasing one of my favorite teams I've used in this game. It is a Ambipom and Life Orb Scissor Squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, seriously, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But like I said, I used this team before, so I'm not going to be going into like a full death analysis on the team preview, but I am going to be showcasing each Pokemon on the team. Right here with the first Pokemon, we got Ambipom. And Ambipom is absolutely amazing. I love this Pokemon all around. Really great at controlling battles. Has Fake Out. Has really good hit, hard hitting moves due to his Silk Scarf and his Ability Technician. So every single normal move is going to get a big boost from that Silk Scarf. And anything below like 60 base power is going to get an additional boost due to his Technician Ability. So you guys will see the power of this Pokemon and how good it is. Because we're probably going to be bringing it in in every battle we got raikou over here rocking the leftovers great all around great with snarl great bulkiness just good pokemon to bring on a team life orb scissor right here is going to be our third pokemon and life orb scissor is top tier in this format hits super super hard and it has and it resists a lot of different pokemon it's really only weak to fire pretty much it can bulk out a bunch of other shots but once fire comes into play it's dead in one shot so if you can get this pokemon out without fire pokemon he's going to pretty much solidify the battle and win you it full around Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Choice Scarf Abomas. Now, this Pokemon is great at a bunch of different situations. It can outspeed pretty much everything due to its Choice Scarf. It also has Ice Wind takes Speed Control, and it can also hit really, really hard with its Ice or Grass stat moves. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Garchomp. Can't go wrong with Garchomp in this meta. This Pokemon is just phenomenal. We gave it the Yachi Berry, so it can't get one tap by Ice moves, and then it can pretty much roll off from there doing big damage with Dragon moves, Ground moves, and this thing is also rocking Rock Slide as its move instead of Sword Stance. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Intimidate Gyarados. And I feel like most teams in this format has to have an Intimidate on it. It's just it's just how it be. It's just how it be. There's a lot of strong physical attackers, so Intimidate works perfectly without Dynamax in the battle. But that's the team right there, guys. Let's hop into that Coliseum and get going with our first battle out of three for doubles. The new Coliseum update is an absolute blessing. I hopped right into here and got myself the battle instantly. So much better than the... Uh, then the union room code so much better than that but i get to make rules since i'm in the blue corner i'm going to confirm the rules set it to four pokemon and let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one with this amazing ambipom team but chances are we're going to be leading ambipom hopefully we're going up against a pretty cool team with some cool pokemon on it let's see let's check it out let's see who this person is going to be rocking with. let's see who this person's going to be rocking with but guys something i forgot to mention in the team preview is if you guys want a bit more of an in-depth analysis we will have the poke base down in the description below so definitely go check it out definitely give it a look and let me know in the comment section down below this will be a little question of the day what are you guys thoughts on the brand new gen 9 announcement they showed the brand new starters and they showed like an overworld trailer not a bunch of new pokemon they just showed how the world's gonna look and i think it looks absolutely amazing just give me legend arceus vibes alongside with mixing it in with the gens hopefully we get the gems back hopefully we get some really cool pokemon but hopefully they keep like the catching mechanic with uh with how it was with arceus i really did like that. i really did like that but we'll see how it is and it's looking phenomenal so hopefully hopefully it does live up to the hype but the starters look amazing especially uh what is the fire crocodile's name boy coco that's the name boy coco is looking amazing but our opponent just locked in his team and it's looking sick looking pretty cool he's got the hit my top he's got the quagsire he also has a miss maggie has the drapeon and he has the garchomp alongside with the road tom wash so pretty strong team i feel like we have to lead ambipom here ambipom's just super super good at controlling battles with fake outs and then next pokemon we could bring in here could be a bomb snow as a lead bomb snow could be a lead something i have to watch out for is going to be that hit my top's intimidate so i really don't want to lead a physical attacker at this time but a bomb snow could be great maybe back end a bomb snow could be the play or maybe just straight up leading a bomb snow Hmm. Could definitely be plays. Could definitely be plays that we want to make. Um, I definitely want Gyarados too. Gyarados could be a great intimidate. So maybe do I lead Gyarados? No, I think we'd lead him. He has a Quagsire. The Abomasaur just counters so much. We're going to bring Gyarados. And then last but not least, I think Scissor's going to be a great call. I really do like that. I just have to bring Abomasaur in this situation. Super effective up against the Quagsire. Up against uh, the Rotom Wash. And then also the Garchomp. Works wonders. It works wonders. Plus his special attack, and so if he leads to him on top, which he's probably going to do. Yep. And he led the Garchomp. Beautiful. And he led the Garchomp. And he did indeed lead the Garchomp. So he's probably going to hard swap it. I really do like that. We are Choice Scarf, and I kind of want to... What do I want to do here? Do I want to stay into a Blizzard in case he swaps? 
Do I want to stay into a blizzard? I could just hard you turn out. I could definitely just you turn out here. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But fake out does do some nasty damage. So you know what? We're just going to fake out here. He might protect. Is him on top? No, we outspeed. And there's no way he keeps Garchomp in. Or maybe it's just like, yo, I outspeed. And I protect Garchomp. Okay, I'm with that. I'm with that all day. Double protecting? He's not. So that's fine by me. We'll fake out. And he doesn't know we're Choice Scarf. And that's, a, that's a huge threat. That's a huge... That's a huge, like, advantage that we get. Is that he does not know we're Choice Scarf. He has no idea that we're Choice Scarf. So, he's probably thinking, like, oh, yo, my Garchomp probably outspeeds. I might be able to drop an EQ and swap into something. And if he's thinking that way, my boy will just outspeed him and we'll rip into him. So, from here, I... Will Blizzard KO that? Don't want to take the risk. I think he, I think Obama Snow outspeeds anyway, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double hit on that slot, and we're just gonna Blizzard across. But I'm hoping Blizzard goes for it first and takes out the uh, the hit my top just in case he swaps the car shot because then the double hit could slide over and can do damage on whatever Pokemon he swaps into because there's a high chance that that car shot does swap out. So we'll see. We shall see how this one plays out. Our opponents think. Opponents thinking of a good. One. Good thing we led the bomb. Such a great Pokemon, such a good lead. We have to be pretty much everything. And he goes for a helping hand. So he probably does think that we're not Choice Scarf. So this works wonders. This works wonders. Because you know, my boy is Choice Scarf. And he's coming in first, baby. He's coming in first for the big double KO. So like I said, that Choice Scarf was huge in our band. She had no idea. And that's exactly what we was hoping. And yo, this thing survived? What did he, he survived free focus, Ash. What you mean? It's all good, though. It's all good. We have double hit sliding over. Built. And built. And we pump coming in clutch. Okay, so that's huge for us. That's just big KOs. Maybe our opponent might cancel man. We're sitting in such a good spot. But from here, I got a hard swap. Oh, not hard swap. I got a U-turn out heavy here. If he has a bunch of physical attackers, I'll swap to Gyarados. But if not, I'm going to go straight. But dude, that worked out perfectly. Like I said, yo, advantage was him not knowing that we had the choice. Here. Or her. Because, you know, its character is a girl. But it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, and that's what I was hoping. So once he used a help hand, I was just like, yo, let's go. I'm feeling good. My boy's Chewy Scarf. He was ready to drop just an EQ, deal damage to his hit on top, and take out my Obama Snow because it would have been super effective. And probably maybe taking out my Amy Palm because he's just like a glass cat. He brings out Drapion, shiny Drapion, who looks pretty sick. Even though Skroopy looks cool and shiny. And then he's going to throw out Quagsire. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, Do I want to... What do I want to do here? Definitely want to U-turn out. I think U-turn is definitely a play. So I feel like this Drapion is really scaring me. So I'm going to do that. And then I have to go into Blizzard because I'm truly Scarf into it. Maybe we get some freezes. I'm going to end up protecting Quagsire. That's fine. That's fine. Probably thinking we're going for an Energy Ball. But again, we're choice in the Blizzard. We are choice. And he should know that we're choice considering how fast. But Blizzard comes out here. Give me a freeze. No freeze. U-turn is going to pivot. And I think we just bring out uh, Scythe. Or not Scythe. Uh, Scizor here. I think I think uh Scizor is going there. Skizzy dude. Now we still have Amy Palm in the back end. That just makes this match even more of a lockup for a victory. Is having an Amy Palm in the back just come out for a fake out. This fake out does so much damage. He snarls. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. My bug over here, my red bug, is a nice physical attacker, and my Amy Palm or my Bomb of Snow is a special attacker. But sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like that. So Buffett's gonna come out here. I could just drop a nice little, nice little, what's it called? What is that called? The uh, bullet punch. Let's do some work. It's probably gonna be my play, but, but oh, this guy's double items. Get out of my face. Or is that black sludge and leftovers? Is that black sludge leftovers? It might've been, it might've been, but bullet punch gonna fly through here. And I think bullet punch can probably pick up the KO. Definitely on top of the blizzard. So it's GG's, it's GG's all day. Protect him, that's fine. That is fine. As long as this Quagsire is not rocking a fire move, I think we got this one on lock. We got this battle on lockdown. Lockdown all day. Great protect from Drapion, though. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Blizzard comes out here. Give me a freeze on the Quag. Oh! You ask, you shall receive, baby. You ask, you shall receive. <laughs> That's how it be. Now, is this thing Black Sludge? I want to know if this thing is Black Sludge or should I have put it on no double items? Let's see. That's Black Sludge. Because right? Black Sludge doesn't do the little animation. So, okay, cool. So he's not using double items. Fair play. Fair play. Fair play all day. 
Fair play all day. Okay, so from here, that thing's frozen. Look at Quagsire frozen, just stand still. We're just gonna bullet punch cross, and we're just gonna blizzard. That is GG's. That's GG's. Quagsire's gonna survive, but cancel the battle anyway. There it is. One another to get the video started. Let's get hopping into battle number two. We are on the red side, which means we do not get to pick the rules. So let's see what this guy's rocking with. Let's see what kind of rules he's going with. Hopefully he just he goes with four. That's the main rules. Hopefully he does it. Because if he does, if he keeps it six, I feel like we have to pick six, right? If he keeps it six, I feel like we have to pick six Pokemon because then he's going to do it. So let's see. Okay, he set it to four. Yo, beautiful. Yo, I'm loving the people in the Coliseum. I'm absolutely loving the people in the Coliseum. But let's lock in our Envy Palm team yet again and get rolling with this battle. But yo, Envy Palm rocks out. Such a good lead. And we're definitely going to be leading again. I really do not care what Pokemon he has. We have to lead him. And this is the team he's rocking with. He's rocking with Weavile, Venusaur, Charizard, Tyranitar, Togus, and Garchomp. That team is looking insanely strong. It's looking insanely strong. I'm, gonna lock, I'm going to lock in Ambipom here for our lead. And then I think Raikou could be solid here. Lots of Snarls. I do like Gyarados here as well. Gyarados can knock out. Same thing with Scizor. Yeah, that's going to be a squad. That same squad that we brought last time? No, we brought Ambipom. Or no, we brought Abomasone last time. I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. I am liking that. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Yo, dude, this guy's team is looking crazy good. It's looking crazy strong. Just looking at it. I was just like, dude, Venusaur, Charizard, Tyranitar, Togus, Garchomp. Like, ah! <laughs> it's looking deadly. He's going to end up leading these two, which uh, I'm cool with. I am cool with that. Uh, fake out. Do I calm mine here? I could definitely calm mine set up. What do I fake out is a real question. What do I want to fake out here? I feel like faking out the Tokus could be a better call. I don't know, yo. Titar's scaring me. We're gonna fake out the Titar here. I'm gonna fake out Titar. You know what? I'm just going to drop a Thunderbolt straight into this thing. I was gonna calm my setup, but we'll see how this one plays out. He protects, so faking out him was a good call. Okay, I'm with that. We'll chip up his damage. Neutral turn here. Everyone will take buffet damage besides his uh his Titar. And I think I just U-turn swap here, right? Into my scissor. Scissor could because scissor just poses such a big threat. It really does. I could calm mine. I am not feeling the combo though. Know? I feel like he's gonna probably rock slide on me. So scissor with the U-turn swap is gonna be our play. Turn out. And then we could just uh we could just thunderbolt into this and chip up some damage. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. Do 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 do. Scary team, dude. Scary team. The token's gonna try to double protect here. Hey, else is double protect, yo. I'm with that all day. U turn's gonna poke here. Chip up some damage on T Tar. That's some good damage, especially for a U turn. Come on, can't go wrong with that. Now we can bring out our bug here, and we can get rock. And we can get rocking. So scissor, get on down here. I was gonna bring out Gyarados, but you know T Tar. I'm fine with that. I'd rather save my Gyarados from that game. Scissor's gonna poke out here. Plus, Scissor's super effective on the both. It's just gonna work. Thunderbolt's gonna poke here. Chip up some big damage. Give me the para. Give me the para. No para. EQ's gonna fly. Ooh. Ooh! Don't like that one bit. EQ's gonna fly. Raku soaks up. That's wonderful. Good thing that's a coverage move. Good thing that is a coverage move. Okay, so from here, what do I do? What do I do? Do I just protect the Scissor here? I'm thinking of protecting the Scissor. And the reason I say this is because in case he goes for a follow me. Actually, we could go for an X scissor here. I'm with that all day. This actually counters if he goes into a follow me. So I'm with that all day. So obviously we could go into a bull punch, but if he goes into follow me, then my boy goes first. So this works out perfectly. We go into a thunderbolt, we take out Tokus, and now X scissor. I'm hoping that scissor should outspeed. But either way, I feel like he eats up whatever this T-Tar has to offer, right? We do outspeed anyway, so T-Tar, get on out my game, dude. Great plays by us, making the great calls, loving it so much. But let me reiterate why I did not go into that uh, bull punch is because if that Togekiss went for a follow me, Scissor would have gone first and taken out the Togekiss, leaving my Raikou going up next and not being able to take out the Tyranitar, making the Tyranitar get an extra turn. So that was my thought process behind that one. And it worked out perfect. It worked out perfect. So I'm with it all there. I'm with it all day, baby. And plus, X Scissor does more damage. Charizard's gonna fly out here. Uh, we have Gyarados for that. I'm liking that. And Venusaur's gonna come out here. Which, Venusaur's probably our tough customer, right? Venusaur is 100% our tough customer. So, I'm gonna protect here. And I'm gonna see if I can drop a nice, lovely Thunderbolt onto the Charizard. Because Raikou might be faster than it. I hope so. I do hope so. Let's see. 
Red bug protects. And plus we have Amy Palm in the back, which is great. And Raku does have speed. Pretty much GG's. GG's, get him out of here. Get him out of here. So I could have just actually X's. I could have just X's. Him. This is looking like a sweep. It's looking like a sweep. What's the meaning we're going to go for? Sleep powder. That's fine. That is fine. It's fine by me, baby. Just please don't take out any of my Pokemon. Because I want to beat you for the nothing. <laughs> I want to do it, yo. I want the sweep. I want the 4 out. I want the 4-0, baby. Let me clutch it up for you guys. Let me bring it out, dude. Scissor and Ambipom. Too strong. Too strong because... Ambi Palm can set up your team. Like I can have a Pokemon. I could actually lead Ambi Palm with Scissor and Sword Stance up. But my favorite thing to actually do is just like swap into Scissor with a U-turn. And and get the uh, chip damage and uh, have my ally Pokemon beside my Ambi Palm just set up and go from there. It just works really, really well. Just works wonders. But my Raku is definitely gonna be sleep here. But he just cancels battle and there it is. The 4-0, the perfect sweep that we were looking for. We're hopping into our third battle back in the red corner so we do not get to this side of the rules yet again. And we're going up against our same opponent. So hopefully he's using a different team. If not, we're going to give him the psh, psh, slap him up again and let him know not to mess with us. But let's see. He's got to do four again. He did four last time. I would be ashamed of him. I would be ashamed of this guy if he went into six. There it is. Four. Let's lock in our team. Hopefully he's picking a different team, but I wouldn't mind versing that same team. But that team's looking very strong. We just kind of just outplayed him there. We had a better lead. We you turned out into a scissor and it was pretty much easy. Yeah, Tyranitar and uh, Togekiss, and it was just like Scissor just dumps on both of them easily in one shot. And he's gonna bring in the same team. Okay, so Amy Palm, I'm leading you again. I'm gonna lead you with the Scissor. I'm gonna lead this thing with the Scissor and then go from there. Gyarados, I think Gyarados is a must here. I'm gonna bring Garchomp. We, ha we haven't used Garchomp yet, but I think Gyarados is really, really good. Gyarados is just great. I do like Gary. We go, Gary. Yeah, let's lock in Gary. Lock it down, lock it in. Let's get after it. Can't believe we haven't used Garchomp. I can't believe you haven't used Garchomp yet, considering how strong it is in this game. Let's see who he ends up leading. He goes into Garchomp and Charizard. We're going to go into Scissor, and that's tough news for us. Real tough news for us. Um, from here, I could try to swing. Good. I could try to Sword Stance. So I'm really thinking about them. I'm really thinking about Sword Stance here. Let's do it. Run it up, dude. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of a fire Pokemon. We're just going to outplay him and win this battle. I'm going to fake him out, and I'm going to Sword Stance. And we're hoping that Charizard doesn't protect he does not cool because I gotta get off as much damage as I possibly can. Oh my god. That's working wonders. That's working wonders here. He's just gonna drop a rock slide. As long as we're not flinching here, we're thriving. As long as we're not flinching here, I feel like we won this battle easily. We flinched. Get out my face. Get out my face. Double hit will easily KO you. I'm gonna go into another short stance. Amy Palm's the fastest on the field. Amy Palm is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, which is amazing. Double hit's gonna poke here. We're gonna say bye bye Charizard. Wonderful. Charizard, get out my face. Not scared of that. Not scared of that thing. And now Garchomp, what are you going for? Another rock slide? Don't flinch me. You can go for rock slides as long as you don't flinch me. That's all I asked for. Let's go. There's my sword dance. Finally out and about. Finally got it out. Okay, cool. So I got my scissor out here. Got my two stud Pokemon out here. We still have Garchomp in the bag. I don't even think we're going to see Garchomp. This guy, we're just getting at Oh my god, he brings out Togus. Yes, he he's going to protect Togus all day. An absolute must. You know what? I'm just gonna hard swap Amy Palm. I'm just gonna hard swap Amy Palm. And he has to, he's gonna definitely 1000 percent protect the uh Tokus here. So you know what? I'm just gonna go into a bull punch here onto the slot. So we're gonna make the hard read of the protect, get in a hard swap, get in our guard chop, and kind of just go from there. But if not, this could be a rough play. If he doesn't protect, this could be definitely be a rough play. Hard jump swaps. Tokus use a protect. Jeans making the plays. The plays. Loving it. Bull Punch is going to go over onto this slot. We loving it so much with that sword stance. And we get off some huge damage, but not enough to KO. But I guess he's going into the rock slide. There's no way he goes to a Dragon Call into my Amy Palm slot. Let's do a Bulldoze. Bulldoze for speed control. No EQ. This thing's not rocking EQ. You guy's not rocking EQ. I'm with it all day. That's fine. That's GG's. Actually, no. His, uh, his, his dragon actually outspeeds me now. This dragon actually outspeeds me, and uh, in this case, I'm just gonna protect you and just go into a bull punch in this slot. Because chances are he might slide into or change to a dragon move, and now he outspeeds me. Oh, he withdraws Garchomp. Okay, I'm cool with that. He withdraws the Garchomp. Tyrantar says, "Dude, it's over. With. It's over. With. It is over." 
This battle is over. This battle's over. I'm just running the BDSP ladder. Like I said, guys, dude, I always play super, super well in BDSP. Uh, in a BDSP format, we just always rock out well. Bull Punch gonna fly through here. That's Sword Dance. That's super effective. It's Stab. It's Technician. It's Life Orb. It, it's... It's dead. <laughs> Toga Kiss is dead. <laughs> we absolutely just trash on that thing. This guy is Tyranitar and Garchomp left, which is totally fine because we should just be able to kind of just get after these guys. I feel like a, a Bullet Punch takes you out, and then he might be able to... Actually... I don't want him to take out my, my Pokemon. I want to kind of get a sweep. So I'm trying to think of ways that I could go around this and get the sweep. Because Garchomp is minus one. And I don't think the only way that we can get out of this would be to do this. And hope that my Garchomp outspeeds, but it probably doesn't because it is minus one. So Bull Punch gonna fly here. Probably KO this thing, right? Yeah, dude. Scizor is he's OP. He's so broken in this format. He's so strong. Super, super strong. You anytime you're making a team, you have to have a Pokemon that can counter him. He's going to go for the Dragon Call. Can you eat this, please? No, the sweep does not happen. Rough Skin. Oh, my God. I was going to say, Rough Skin for the win? That could have been awesome. Rough Skin for the win could have been awesome. We could bring out Gyarados, but it's over. It's GG's. I could fake him out with Ambipom, but I'd rather just get out Gyarados. Gyarados, because, hey, we get that Intimidate, and then you know, we could just pull a punch, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not pull a punch, because I'd rather my Gyarados get the final KO. Let's see. Let's see if we can do any. Is there any way we can like disrespect this guy with any of these moves we have? Go here. I'll sword dance and try dragon dance. Hopefully he doesn't cancel and seize us. He goes for rock slide. He outspeeds me. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't flinch me, yo. He's just looking for flinches. But I can bring out Ambipom. I can just fake out whenever. I flinch. Oh, yo. <laughs> I flinch. Obviously, I could have won the battle. I could just went into a bull punch, but I was. I'm trying to have some fun with this one. But I'm just going to fake him out with Amy Palm. It's GG's. I'll fake him out and go into and go into a Dragon Dance. This is actually a good call by me to go into a Dragon Dance. Is the sheer fact is uh, in case he protects. Even though my Amy Palm outspeeds, it's just her play. Fake out. Wow. Clap skis for the win. 3 0 with this amazing Amy Palm and Life Orb Scissor team for BDSP. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot get over how awesome. This Coliseum mode is absolutely amazing. I do not have to use the Union Room codes anymore. I can just get straight into battles. But there it is for you guys. 3-0 in another BDSP video. Showing off a lovely Amy Palm team that we used before. But I figured I'd showcase for you guys again. Considering it is just super, super good. And a lot of fun to use on that rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.